fine. I'm, we're not too far behind. Alrighty. Go ahead and, uh, that, bam, and uh, bam. Alright, Milkman versus Walfordin. Going to the greatest console of all time, of course. I'm uh, not too surprised. Oh. Did I tell y'all that I'm not too surprised? Anyways, I'm not too surprised with these picks. Uh, Walfordin going with the Diddy and Milkman coming through with the Cloud. I think as far as with it of uh, Milkman overall just being a little bit more comfortable of playing at this match of wanting to go about uh, committing to this. Like I said, having the range definitely helps out. <laughs> Gets tripped up by the banana at the last second. Oh man, gets the limit on deck. It gets a trade there. Not able to use uh, the limit. I think really the big problem that is going to exist here for uh, Milkman is just being able to get back in some of these situations. Because I mean, as we know, uh, you know, Cloud is not the hardest of character to go about gimping. Oh man, he's able to get the up B there. A whopping like 40%. Right, another one right there. That's something I waffled and kind of need, so. Oh man, just would have waited just a little bit longer. Alright, gets the grab there. Alright, able to come back miraculously. Ooh, man, misses on the banana and gets the dash attack. That's going to be Milkman taking his first game here. Was not looking too hot at first, but able to capitalize. Down throw, but not able to get the follow up. We're gonna be returning back to the same stage. So keep the same characters here. I was trying to pick up a banana there. Something else that I did go about learning with this game of, uh, you know, you can use like your totes and whatnot to pick up the items. You know, good stuff to know. He gets a little damage off of the up special with the command grab. Right, able to capitalize off the banana, but the force smash is not going to be enough. Right, gets a little bit of limit while off stage. All right, we 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 got it on deck. Catch them right there. That is good. Milkman getting the first stock within this match here. Now also sitting on a, a rage right now. I like the patience there. Not able to get the aerial, but not enough. Nice patience there on Walton inside. Gets the banana into the force smash. The classic. Oh man. Oh, 41%. Good call. And gets him with the up special out of shield. Something so good for Cloud.
this milkman is was trying to chase go off with him. Off they cannot afford to get hit by much of any stray hit. If it gets up just in time, that definitely would happen to stop. Happen to answer the forest smash, but not enough. We get the aerial there. Get the back here off stage. The milkman taking the walking down to the last stop. All right, we get the get the, the overdrive here, but uh, oh man, we're gonna be answering back with the banana. All right, last stock situation. To walk to be able to finish this out. It's the forward smash there. This is not the up special. Oh no, it's free damage right there. That dash attack, it hits so good. I mean, I, I mean, I know that sword is large, but sheesh, hitbox on that thing. <laughs> Dash attack there. Went and did a projectile. Not gonna connect though. I guess the four there. Right, catches on with the up smash. That's gonna be Milkman taking the second game here. And going to adjust for this third match. So this is winter final, so we'll have another chance if it just so happens that is not able to finish this race here. But looming in in, uh, in losers is a heat stroke, and I don't know if they really want to to go about potentially having to deal with that again. I ever. He stroke does have to get through Renaissance. We would definitely have to go about seeing how this goes. Right now, Walt within does have a little bit of a lead here. That, I bet so that may be it there. Not able to recover fast enough from the air dodge. I guess the dash attack gonna get a forward air convert, gonna get a down going to uh, back air. Calls him out the floor, smash there. Waffling and really capitalizing right now. And Waffling and picking up the speed here. A good conversion there. <coughs> right, is able to get the up special. Get it. The jetpack is so strong now. It is ridiculously good. Like, like obviously you take a little bit of damage when you like crash with it, but like five percent or so is so worth it. Now. So that jetpack is like what I would imagine a good recoil move in Pokemon would look like, you know? <laughs> like, you know, imagine Double Edge, but you know, you only take like, you know, what, you know, 132nd of health or something like that. I don't know. Math and stuff. Okay, able to get the Force Smash there. Walfoden. Able to get the three stock there in this third match. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I may be willing to go about switching out the words of that one. I think that was just one of those games. So, yep, we're going to the Rob. Yep. Instantly switching over to the Rob. Don't blame him. <laughs> 